This is uh, what we would refer to as a high risk situation, Narketeers. This gentleman in the gray uh, Ford is very, very far away as far as the uh, parking lot goes. Car Corral, obviously, not too far. It's here within eye range, but oh no, look what he's done. He's gone for the. Not even a real curb, it's a side saddle. Weep, weep, weep. That's not where the cars go. Cars go over here, sir. This way. Oh, he's hitting his car, running away. Close the distance, sir, sir. That's, oh, oh man. That car could roll downhill and really whack someone's car. Sir, I'm gonna take it over that way toward the cart corral. Cart magnet ready and deployed. Oh man, it fell off. You got no kind of bumper for this sort of thing. Must be all aluminum or something. Let's back it up for some reason. I'm sorry, yeah, you left your car where it doesn't belong. The car, the car corral's over there. I'll put a car corral over here. I'm 72 years old, I can't walk that far. Well, you walked all the way out here. Yeah. You walked past the car corral. So then... Yeah, but I had stuff in it. Right, and then you didn't walk it back? No, I left it right there for you. But that, no, but you didn't know I was going to be here. You, you, well, they, somebody always shows up here. Well, but see, in the time that between when you leave it here, it could roll off and hit somebody's car. Well, it didn't because I positioned it correctly. Oh, uh, you know, you did not, sir. It was just sitting there all willy-nilly. I saw it. Well, yeah, you saw it on the crack. On the crack. So, over the corner. Also blocking the spots from people from driving in easily. Oh, my God. Sir, I'm the cart narcs. Here, we got these bumper magnets for you. These, what is that? Uh, the cart narcs. They got our hotline number on them, sir, if you'd like to try to call us and maybe we can talk to you about being a lazy bones. I, I virtually don't give a shit. Why not? Do you work for I don't sir, think so. No, we're a private secret organization. A private secret organization? Highly oh. trained agents. Yeah, here, let me leave that for you. Here, that's just no, got our number I, on it. I don't. Sir. Um, oh, no, you literally, I'll pick it up for you. Don't worry. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you, uh, sir, so are you saying that suddenly you... You vote for Trump? I, I, it's not, we're not political, sir. I, I, but I can see your idea. How do you know that, sir? Because you're an asshole. Oh, no, but what about... Everybody can be a butthole. Oh, no. He does raise an interesting position, though. Oftentimes, if you read the Cartnarks uh, Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter comments, or YouTube comments, by the way, Cartnarks are on all platforms, um, people will attribute a political preference to the Cartnarks. They'll say, oh, this guy must have voted for Trump, or this guy must be voting for Bernie or Hillary or whatever. And it's funny because it goes both ways. It just depends on what that person's particular political ideology is and the people whom they want to villainize. Let's be very clear here at the Cartnarks. The Cartnarks are a non-political organization. It doesn't matter who you, whom you vote for. Taking your cart back where it belongs is the right thing to do. So people like that will accuse us of being Trump supporters. Other people accuse us of being Democrat supporters. Cartnarks are, again, apolitical. And we won't uh, tolerate such nonsense. Cartnarks out.